So my first point of advice is don't start with brand. There are four or five other questions that I would strongly suggest you do start with. And the first one I'm gonna say is decide on how big an instrument you can actually fit in your home. We've used the label baby grand in the title of the video, and that's a really loose term. I mean, baby grand, uh, in terms of the industry, we call anything from about a four foot nine to about a five foot three a baby grand. And when I'm talking about length, really, just so that we're clear, we're talking about the distance between uh, here on the piano, back to about the back edge or the back curve of the instrument. And that's how we measure grand pianos. And so when people in the business say baby grand, we're talking about anything that's about four foot nine to five foot three. But people who are just shopping for an instrument, even sometimes pianists themselves, usually use the term baby grand piano interchangeably with just grand piano which we think of as anything from about five foot up to six and a half, even seven feet in length. And that's when we start to get into semi-concert grands or grand pianos. So the information we're gonna be giving to you in, the, uh, in this video is applicable pretty much to any size of piano. Um, but of course, if you are looking for a baby grand, which is sort of something in and around that five foot range, it's gonna be uh, you know, extra helpful, hopefully. So as I said, a really great place to start is actually deciding what size of instrument you think you can accommodate. Because you can get a five foot piano used for probably $5,000, you could get a brand new five foot piano that costs $100,000. And so the size and the budget really are quite disconnected. So deciding what you can fit will then allow you to continue moving through the different questions, which will hopefully let you start to hone in on your perfect solution. You can get templates often from websites or dealers that'll help you decide uh, what size you need. Uh, as we said, there are lots of places where you can get free or very inexpensive templates so you can understand um, how much floor space you need for a particular size. But there's another really important consideration, which is the bass string length. Now, when we're talking about bass string, um, bass strings are, of course, the lower strings, uh, which are copper in color. Uh, so we're talking about these fatter bass strings down here. Uh, and these strings, even though it's not intuitive uh, to, uh, to sort of uh, look at this fact, the shorter the string, the fatter they actually have to make the string. Um, because you're basically substituting uh, length um, with thickness so that the string still has approximately the same mass. And that's how uh, you wind up being able to generate the same frequency. But the shorter the string and the more they have to wrap it with copper, the more there's a chance that the, all that extra copper winding is gonna create a lot of additional frequencies. They call it overtones or uncontrolled overtones. And you're hearing more of those overtones, which are kind of like extra color tones on top, than you are of the actual string itself. And so sometimes you'll hear people refer to that as clarity uh, or lack of clarity, uh, or whether you know, a bass string is really kind of uh, noisy or, or uh, you know, not producing a nice clean tone. So the shorter the piano, the shorter the bass string, and the shorter the bass string, the very good chance that you're going to wind up with this lack of clarity. You start to see that change right around the five foot two, five foot three mark. And so I would say uh, for people who are more serious players or they've already had some experience with pianos before, if you can fit uh, you know, a five foot one, five foot two, and you're like, oh, you know, there's just no way that you can get any bigger than that, fair enough. Uh, you, know, you're, you, you can find other ways to make sure that the piano you get is gonna be really satisfying. But if there's an extra way to just push that a little bit and make sure that you're kind of in that five, two, five, three uh, range, which is gonna be in around 155, 156 centimeters or above, there's some extra tonal benefits that you get from that. <laughs> 